Hello everyone. In this work, we are going to talk about our multilingual joint fine tuning of transformer models approach for the trolling aggression and cyberbullying subtask at track 2020. The pre-trained models uh, data sets uh, as well as the evaluation scores uh, uh, can be found at our GitHub repository, which also includes our source code. The main contributions of our paper are as follows. Uh, we propose a fine tuning of pre-trained transformer models. Uh, we also propose a joint label training, which basically allows us to solve both the tasks simultaneously. This is inspired from our earlier work. Uh, we also propose uh, multilingual models, which can predict on all languages. Uh, and we open source our source code as well as our pre-trained models and evaluation metrics. Finally, we uh, are Pre-trained models can be further fine-tuned and investigated uh, as the details provide later in the slides. So let's talk a little bit about the task. The task here is we are uh, given data sets from three languages and we have to perform two tasks. One is aggression identification and the second one is misogynistic aggression identification. And uh, as you can see, the amount of label training data for both of these uh, tasks uh, is not very huge. Uh, it's of the order of like 4,000. So what is our approach? Our approach is basically the classic NLP approach. Uh, we take the text, uh, we tokenize the text into a sequence of tokens. Then the sequence of tokens are represented uh, using uh, a vector representation and then we do task specific prediction and then we basically uh, instead of uh, training this model from scratch we uh, just uh, initialize this model uh, with the weights of a pre-trained model uh, which was trained on a language modeling task and then we fine-tune that uh, model uh, using this data set so the model which we use as a, uh, a basis for fine tuning is the transformer models. Uh, these models have been very successful for a large number of uh, natural language processing tasks and have achieved state of the art results. Uh, the building block of transformer models is uh, the idea of self attention. So each token is represented uh, using a vector and uh, we uh, construct a contextualized uh, representation of each token uh, given the representation of all the other tokens and we do it for multiple layers uh, and uh, in the end we aggregate these contextualized representation using another self-attention to get the final label of the task. Uh, this model has been popularized using the BERT uh, architecture and uh, but we also investigate other recent uh, variations uh, of the transformer models. So when it comes to fine tuning, we uh, do fine tuning in multiple ways. One is uh, just a single task uh, approach, which is uh, we take um, the uh, pre-trained model and then we fine tune it for each of the tasks separately. And we do it also for each of the languages separately. The second approach is based on a joint label training. Uh, and uh, this allows us uh, to train for multiple tasks as well as uh, doing a marginalization of the output probabilities. This allows us to get a much better um, value of uh, the output probability for each subtask labels. And finally, we do a joint training of all the languages. So basically, we uh, construct a larger training data set, uh, which has uh, data sets from all the languages, and then we train accordingly. Let's uh, go a bit deeper into each of uh, these approaches uh, and before uh, we talk further we uh, for our final experiments we actually also use a combination of some of these approaches and the top models uh, are identified based on the performance on the dev set and those are the models which we actually submit for our track evaluation so let's talk about the joint label training approach uh, which we also refer to as subtask C. This is very similar to the approach which we employed in the HASOC 2019 uh, shared task. And the main idea is that we are given uh, two uh, tasks and each of the tasks has a given set of labels. So if we just combine the labels, we uh, can basically construct a new subtask, which is subtask C. And then 
we can perform classification on this uh, new subtask directly. Uh, the key idea here is that uh, if the labels uh, of the two subtasks are related uh, or uh, have uh, share certain information, then this approach uh, should allow us to get uh, like a very good uh, uh, evaluation performance. And also it allows us to reuse the label data set from two different uh, like uh, tra you know, trading data. Uh, however, uh, for our case in track, uh, since both the, the training data for subtask A and subtask B was exactly the same, it's just that the label was different. So the only gain we get is in terms of uh, the common information shared by the labels. Uh, we also actually uh, reduced the inference uh, time uh, for if we just train a single model for both the subtasks. And uh, uh, for the second case, which is the marginalization of labels, we actually talk about uh, uh, getting the right um, values of the label probability. So again, uh, in this approach, uh, we just use the previous uh, model uh, from subtask C and we just uh, get the labels uh, which are assigned to all the six. Uh, we get the probabilities which are assigned to all the six labels and we simply marginalize them for each of the tasks uh, to get a valid probability distribution for each task. And this can be really useful at inference time if we want to assign probability estimates to each task labels. Finally, we talk about joint training for all languages. So here the idea is that uh, because we have uh, only like uh, close to 4,000 training data sets, uh, training instances for each language, we can construct a larger training uh, data set by combining uh, the training data of all the languages. That means uh, that makes it close to 12,000 uh, data points. And then we can train a multilingual model, which basically performs for all the languages. And uh, we can uh, use the same model to do the, the prediction for each of all the languages. Uh, this has a benefit that uh, we only need to train a single model. That means, again, our computational complexity is reduced uh, by uh, the odd number of languages we have. So instead of training three different models for each language, uh, we basically just train one model. And when we extend this approach uh, with uh, the joint label training, we actually, instead of training uh, six different models for each combination of uh, language and subtask, we actually just train one single model for all the languages and all subtasks, which makes it like uh, six times faster uh, at inference time. So uh, this approach is also very helpful for cases where we don't have pre-trained uh, language models uh, for certain languages, which was the case for Hindi and Bengali uh, in our case. Uh, case. Uh, however, there do exist uh, language pre-trained language model for uh, uh, which have been trained in a multi-language uh, setting. That means multilingual setting. That means they have been trained for a large number of languages. So we can just uh, uh, utilize this common information from all these language models. So uh, let's look at what the experiments we conducted. So as base model, which we use for fine tuning, we uh, considered models based on either the BERT uh, or its uh, recent uh, improvement called uh, cross-lingual Roberta model. And we use these two approaches uh, as uh, they are like computationally efficient. Uh, these are like not very huge models as well as uh, they, these uh, models have shown to achieve state-of-the-art results. Uh, more de details can be found in our systems paper. Uh, coming to the results, so we actually uh, achieved uh, pretty good results. Uh, we came second in one of the subtasks, uh, third in three of the six subtasks, and fourth in one of another subtask. Our model uh, performance was uh, quite close to uh, some of the second and third rank holders in certain cases. Uh, if we look at the top model for most of the subtasks, which was uh, Team Julian, uh, that model uh, was basically an ensemble model of large number of BERT models. Uh, so uh, compared to that, uh, our model is just a single BERT uh, or transformer model. That means uh, our uh, inference time computational complexity is very cheap uh, compared to the ensemble based approach. Uh, the second best model was actually like a very simple uh, linear model. Uh, uh, based on SVM uh, uh, by uh, this team, and it performed very well uh, for uh, a lot of subtasks. 
And the closest approach to our um, work is uh, this other team, which actually trained BERT using multitask setting. And uh, the, the performance of uh, this model was also very similar to our models. So let's look at what the top models uh, for each uh, subtask were. So for the subtask A, we actually see that uh, the all models usually perform pretty well, uh, and they were uh, chosen for all languages uh, based on the dev set performance. However, on the test set performance for English, we find that the language specific model based on the joint marginalized probability is actually the best one. Um, closely followed uh, by the uh, just the joint probability models. So there's like absolutely like no difference uh, uh, till the third decimal place there. Uh, the second uh, case for Hindi and Bengali, we see that the all model is actually very useful. Uh, and for Hindi, we see that the all model with joint labels as well as the marginalized labels is actually uh, very uh, good uh, at performing uh, on the test data set. Uh, for Bengali, we actually found the XLM Roberta model was also very good, and that model was trained only on the Bengali dataset, uh, but using uh, the joint label training. Uh, looking at the subtask B results, uh, we again find for English, uh, the language specific model is uh, very good uh, and it's our top performer. Uh, however, the other models which are based on all the languages, they also perform very well and quite close to our top performing model. Uh, for Hindi and Bengali, again, we have the all model, which is the best performing model. Uh, remember, this all model is not a jointly trained model. So, uh, however, the jointly trained all model also perform quite close uh, to uh, the top performing model based on only one task. Uh, as can be seen by the evaluation score on the test data set, which differ only by a few points uh, on the third decimal place. So uh, another important uh, contribution of our work is that we have uh, shared all our pre-trained models. So if you want to run uh, inference on a new data set uh, and uh, like possibly for large number of languages, uh, you can actually just reuse our multilingual model. Uh, this ideally should work out of the box for all the languages for which the multilingual model was trained. Uh, however, the performance may not be very good for languages other than Hindi, Bengali, and English. Uh, and uh, you can run inference or even fine tune it using just uh, these few lines of code uh, based on the transformers library. Finally, to conclude, uh, we have basically presented a fine tuning of uh, pre-trained transformer models uh, as a very competitive uh, approach uh, for the track data uh, subtasks. Uh, our joint label and multilingual training uh, approach has allowed us to get very good uh, performance on Hindi and Bengali datasets. Uh, the multilingual model, that is the all model, are the computationally cheapest model for inference. So that means you just get a six times speed up uh, if you use it along with the joint label training model uh, with a very, uh, like with not a huge drop uh, in uh, performance uh, uh, accuracy. And uh, for the code for reproducing all our experiments can be found at our GitHub repository. Uh, this is the list of paper which uh, have inspired our work, uh, mostly based on our HACCP uh, and as well as all the, our dataset papers. Uh, finally, uh, we are also uh, running also uh, social media, i.e., uh, workshop at uh, a tutorial at LREC 2020. So whenever LREC happens, uh, this tutorial is going to include. Uh, various ways of uh, doing information extraction from social media data uh, and uh, uh, further projects related to social media information extraction can be found at our uh, website. Uh, if you want to contact us, uh, you can find us on Twitter uh, or uh, at our websites. Uh, thanks a lot uh, and we look forward to your questions.